Hi guys, Roberta Montagnini here and in today's video I will show you a very quick tutorial on how I start editing my images. Before I even start, you know, adding colors and changing the textures and smoothing everything, this is the first very step of everything. So basically, what you need to do is you need to have your image open on Photoshop and you're going to be duplicating that layer twice because you're going to create a technique called frequency separation. To do that, you right click your background and you duplicate the layer twice. I'll name this first one texture and I'll duplicate it again and I'll name this one blur. Now, I have both of these layers created. I'm going to group them inside a folder. To do this, you select both of the layers and you right click and group from layers. I'm going to name this layer Frequency Separation. All right, I'm also going to make this a just a green color because it's easier for you to see when I'm working on it. Okay, so right now my uh, folder is created with both of the, the files that I'll be using throughout my images. Um, now you select, you actually, you hide the texture layer first and you select the blur layer. On the, with the blur layer selected, you're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, this step is really important and it dif it's different from image to image because the intensity of the blur that you need will vary from image to image. So in this case, my image, how do I know the correct intensity for the blur? So for me, what works best is when I start increasing the blur right here and the image will just a little bit lose the texture so just just a little bit like as, as, as soon as you start to see the texture disappear that's when it should stop so I still I still can see some texture right here and I think this image would be good like maybe around yeah I think 7.2 for this image is good now you click OK and you're done with that layer now you click back on the texture layer make it visible and you're going to go to image, apply image, and now you're gonna select on this panel, making sure your blur layer, the one you created right here, is selected. So you select your texture first, and then you make sure you select the blur layer on this panel, if that makes sense, okay? Now, the blending mode should be set to sub subtract, yes and opacity should be set to 100, scale 2, and 128. These values right here, the opacity, scales, and offset should always be this number, okay? Now click OK, and to, to make the image, to finish this step, you're gonna go to, with the texture layer selected, you're going to this panel here, and you're gonna select linear light. Now, this brings our image back to where it started to look. Uh, to where we started. So if you just hide this layer, you're going to see there are no apparent changes with our background layer. And the image is ready to start um, to, to start, you're ready to start editing your images. So now what you can do, I will just demonstrate a little bit. With the blur layer selected, I will select my lasso tool and I'll select an area of her face to edit. So I'll select this area right here and I'll go to the filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and here I'm gonna control the intensity that I want that blur that blur to to look. So at the moment it's 7.2, and I want that a little bit higher because I want to see that thing blend in on her face. So I think for this image around 36 would be good. So what I do, I don't go with a high number. I divide that by two, and I often go with a you know a smaller number. So 18 for this area should be good. Now I want to edit this area of her face too. Make sure you don't select any edges, okay? Because you don't want to blend a very dark color with a light color, unless that's your goal. So I want to edit that part of her cheek. And if you go back to your filter bin, you're going to realize that the Gaussian blur is now at the top. This is the shortcut for your previous action. So when I click here on my keyboard to apply that shortcut, it's going to replicate the same action 
that I just did on the other side of her cheek. So I'm just going to press uh, on my keyboard command, control F, and I'm creating that same effect, same blur. I'm going to select her skin here on the forehead, and I'm going to create that blur. Some part of, uh, part of her nose too, I'm going to create that blur. Her chin. And I think her face is good. Now, I just fixed the blur layer. The blur layer, which is this one here, is now fixed on her uh, face. I'm not editing her body. So if I just zoom in close, now I'm going to show you how to edit the texture. With the texture layer, um, if I just show you the texture layer, I'm just editing things like, you know, hair and things that are on the way, like there is a hair right here. And I don't like that. I don't want that on my image. So back to vis making my layers visible, I'm going to make sure I'm on the texture layer and I'm selecting my clone stamp tool. I'm going to select my clone stamp tool and making sure I'm on the texture layer and I'm going to select option. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so it should be alt on a PC. I'm selecting option and clicking what I want the my texture to look like. So I want to remove this hair, but I want my hair, um, this section to be copied over here. So I'm doing that and I'm removing that hair that I don't like and I can do it right here. I can do it here on her face. I can remove this hair right here. This hair, all their hair. Obviously I can remove a much larger area. Um, on her face and then if you realize if I start removing this hair over here the skin below looks dark but this is because the darkness is caused because the hair is dark the hair uh, there has a had a color so it it's dark what you can do then to fix this is very simple you just go to back to the blur layer which is our color layer and we're gonna select the brush tool making sure um, the opacity is a low number and the hardness is set to zero. I'm going to increase this maybe to 40 and maybe like that. And I'll select a color that I want this area to look like and I'll just gently paint over it. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just fixing. And to finalize, I always get the lasso tool because I like getting it a perfect blend. And I'll just select the area that I want it to blend and I will apply my Gaussian Blur filter right here, which is on my key on a shortcut, and this is how it looks. And this is the before and after. That's the before, and this is the after. Now, one other thing that I love doing is called dodge and burning. I sometimes do it straight on the blur layer, the dodge and burning, by using the dodge and burn here, dodge and burn here. And if for you that don't know what dodge and burn is, so a burn, I will just, you know, make shadows and dodge. I will create high intensity highlights. But I don't, sometimes when you use that layer, you might make a mistake. So there is another way of doing it, which you can create just like a blank layer. I'll name this dodge and burn. And with your paint bucket tool selected, selected, you're gonna go here to the menu where the colors are, and you're gonna make that color 80, 80, 80. So here, pound sign 888, 8, and you select OK. Now you're gonna paint this layer gray. Don't worry, your image disappeared, but just for now. And you're going to here, uh, you're going to select on this menu here the overlay. So now this layer is still there showing gray, but you don't see the difference because you don't, it's set to gray. But if you select the colors, either white or black here, and if you select your brush, let's say I want to make this uh, area here very white. I'm just going to select a very strong number. So 100, it's going to be very bright. See, that is not ideal. That's too much. Now you can control the opacity here and if I just put it lower you're gonna see the difference. That's still too much. So I can make it even less. Let's say 11, 11 each. 
and that's about right. It's just a tiny bit, but you can see the difference here on her forehead. Okay, so now I'm going to give highlights on her cheeks very slowly, very gently. I'm going to give on both sides. I'm just enhancing her makeup and here too, I want to give that uh, nice makeup highlight on her eyes. And you can do on her lips too. On her nose a little bit. And you can make her lips a little bit more fuller. So you pretty much accentuate what you want to be in focus by using highlights. And what you don't want to be in focus, you can use the burn tool, which would be the black color here. Now I'm going to give some contour, making some uh, her skin uh, a little bit darker in some areas by contouring it. So I like making my brush shaped like if it was a contouring brush. So I gently stroke the area and I'll do on the other side too. And I'll do it here just below her lips. Makes her lips look more plumped. And if I just zoom out now, you can see my image. I can also, uh, you know, darken her makeup using that technique. Yeah, I really love it. I'm just, I just added to her face with this technique. And if I hide all my layers, you can see the difference. Very simple to do. If I just light, hide my dodge and burn, you can see the highlights and shadows are gone. And this is how you, I start my images. This is how I find easier to edit my images and giving that high-end, high-finished look, like magazine style. And that's pretty much it. So I will be doing now a full editing on this picture on my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial found that easier if you guys like it please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if this was helpful and if you have any other suggestions for me to create for you so I can learn and teach what I know and that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye now